Hello. Hey, I am Federico. I am the UX designer of the community team. Um, I wanted to give a few uh, updates on the plugins directory. So there are like different solutions that we want to bring in the plugins directory. And this is one of them. Uh, we did like um, we did like a relaunch on the usability test, and we involved uh, around nine community members, uh, and we bring some of those uh, the conclusions of the testing to make some improvements in the filtering uh, experience inside of the plugin directory. So, as you see, the first uh, screenshot there is the, the current site. So we have around five filters and the search bar and the sorting. But um, many things in this interface it was not very clear. So in as you see in the second screenshot, this is the um, so this is the design that we concluded after the usability test and getting the conclusions. So we have only uh, two drop down um, filters. Uh, also the search bar, we have different information relevant for the user also like the amount of plugins that uh, the results, the, the amount of plugins that results from the risk from the um, search. And we also have a uh, change in the sorting uh, experience. Uh, can you go to the next slide please? Uh, so the idea is that uh, the result of this, the, uh, how we um, link to the design is not only by uh, the usability test, it was really useful, uh, but also from the metrics on the site. So we um, we could knew like how many uh, times uh, users were interacting actually with the filters on the plugin directory. Um, and so also, also from the usability test, we got conclusions, not only from the uh, plugin directory, but um, not only for the filters, but for many things on the site. So this is gonna help definitely for more improvements in the future. Okay, uh, next slide, please. Uh, and this is uh, another of the solutions that we want to bring in the plugin directory is um, basically one of the concerns uh, on the team and with the um, um, community members that attended to the plugins directory workshop was the um, like new users are not very, um, they don't have like a nice experience on the site. So uh, one of the things that we wanted to bring is the, a small user tool where they can uh, go through the main functionalities, functionalities on the site. They can check a useful documentation and they can also uh, receive an invitation to create an account, to create an account on the site because this will like um, open for more options on the plugin directory that users might not be aware of. And next slide, please. And uh, of course, there is still a challenge uh, because we run the usability test and it was amazing to see. I have, I want to say like a lot of thanks to the, uh, to the community members that were part of it. But we want also to bring non-experienced uh, users. So we want to bring uh, all the users from the, from the plugin directory and bring, bring like variety and experience and variety on perspectives. And there's one quote at the end, uh, one of the um, uh, community members said that he, he had a really good experience with user Zoom tool, and this is very good. Uh, we want to bring like this awareness and for people to feel comfortable sharing the screen and the, and the microphone and sharing their experience. And the idea is that uh, not only experienced members, but we bring all the kind of users and they feel comfortable as well with the tools. And of course, there are many different ways of doing research. So we want to bring uh, the best and easiest way for for um, other users to collaborate in, in new designs and new improvements on the community sites. Um, and next slide, please. And uh, this uh, this is basically the design for moodle.org slash UX. Uh, I've been working with uh, Julia um, as well with the content and has been like uh, great. We hope that this can be like really useful for many users. So they have, they have like UX resources, as you can see, uh, on the right side, they have like, this is like a child page. So this would be, um, you can access through moodle.org slash UX and you can get to UX their research reports. So community members, they can explore all the information. Um, and also I, related to the previous slides, I want to say um, a shout out to uh, Setara because she has been helping through the whole uh, um, research process with usability testing and setting up the tool and everything. So has been really, really useful. And yeah, thank you so much.